the last thing that we're going to do is run through our uh, auto report. So we have all this information for our 3 dcs model and we want to share this information. Um, our auto report is one of the tools that you can use to do that. It doesn't require a license of 3 dcs to view the report, so it's a standalone item uh, to present all of the information and data that's in a 3 dcs model to someone who may not have the software. Uh, so before we actually do that, we're going to look at the model summary. The model summary is a Word document that is fully customizable, that you can add any information that you feel is uh, pertinent for this model. This is just our basic template that we include with the software, uh, but we can just include a sample information uh, for the model summary. And you can include text or images as well. Um, so if there's any additional items or pieces of information that you want that is not automatically added, uh, this lets you customize your report as necessary. So when you close that Word editor, it's just going to ask you to save the model summary. So I'll say yes. Um, and then I'm going to generate the report. The report uh, itself is customizable. You can include what aspects of the 3 dcs model you want to include. Uh, so I'm going to include that model summary as well as my GD&T tolerances, moves, and measures. And we have an HTML-based or Excel-based um, report. I'm going to use the HTML, but the information contained in both is the same. So when you say generate report, the software is going to go through and take snapshots of all of the moves, tolerance, measures, and GDNC in the model. And it's going to use those to generate the um, data that's in the report and because this is HTML based it's going to open up in a uh, web browser. This was a cover page that I created previously so uh, again this is customizable so you can add images to, uh, or text as you feel necessary. Our model summary whatever you included in that model summary will be shown here so that sample information Again, you can include images uh, as well as text for the model summary. Our simulation results, this is a summary table of all of your measurements with all of your statistics. Uh, this table is sortable and filterable, so if you want to see what measurements are the worst, you can sort by, say, your total out, and we can see that this auto, audio jack clearance is uh, out 55% of the time, so uh, something we definitely want to take a look at uh, before we go into production with this actual model. As well as sorting, you can filter these, so if you uh, wanted to ignore, say, anything less than 10%, you can add that uh, qualifier here, and the table will then hide anything under that 10%, and that's applicable for any of these columns. Additionally, you can uh, format the rows to highlight different information. We stick with that total out column. If we want to say what is better than, uh, say, 6% here with a marginal value of 10, we can then format the rows to color code according to those uh, values that we have there. Then from the table itself, the uh, names are all hyperlinked. When you mouse over, you'll just get a, that snapshot to give you an idea of what measurement you're looking at. So if you go into one of these, it'll take you to the detail page for your measurement, uh, showing you the same information that you saw in the software itself. You have your histogram, the statistics, as well as an image of that uh, measurement. Go to the sensitivity tab. This is now all of your contributors to that variation. As you mouse over the different rows, it will highlight or it will show the image for that particular contributor. And then these are hyperlinked as well, so if you need more information, 
you can click on these and it will take you to the detail page for the GDNT or tolerance to see how it was applied in the model. Uh, additionally, you can see all of your model inputs. So if we look at our assembly sequence, again, this will take us to a summary page of all of the moves in the model, the types of moves that we're using, and the features that were used to create those moves. These will show the images when you mouse over, and these are hyperlinked as well, so that you can get a little bit more detail if you're interested. Tolerances and GDNTs, those are structured the same way, the summary table with the hyperlinks and the images. And the measurements, this is similar to the sim simulation results. Instead of giving you your statistics, it's just giving you the um, way the measurements were set up in the software. And then if you have any additional information that you're interested in, um, say your analysis settings, so if later on you were trying to uh, duplicate these results in the software, you could see how your analysis was set up.